up guys, welcome back to the Rice Burners. Today we got a review on this Kia Rio 2012 Turbo. Alright guys, we'll start off the car video here, we're going to get in the engine bay. But first off, we're going to start with Kia, killing it in Asia. That's where those cars from, as you guys know. And then on to the uh, motor here, we got a GDI. This is also a Ford bank, because that's how many girls are getting my car out of time after a drag race. But uh, GDI, great distance injectors, because there's a lot of injections in this car and a <laughs> turbo on it. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So before we move on to the next thing here, see this thing, four pipes right here. It's actually a fake V8. Ordered off Amazon, $32. It's got four here and four here. It really does a job, because I pull up to a meet, and they say pop the hood, I do. And when they see that, the panty drop to the floor. All right, guys, now back here in the back of the carriage. We got 32-inch rims right here. I know they don't look like 32s, but they really are. Aluminum alloy. They're pretty nice. I only spent like 27 bucks on my Amazon. Now on to the tires. The reason why I use these tires is the Bridgestone. The reason why I use Bridgestone is because when I'm on bridges, I'm getting stoned. And that's the reason why my eyes are so red right now. All right, guys, we're here at the of the car. So only the car you can see it's pretty wide the reason why it's wide is because when i'm on a dirt track i want to get keep it stable when i'm going around the corners and a girl's sucking my knob but basically you see i got some plastic dip here again kicking it in asia but every little spray of plastic dip has about five horsepower boost which is pretty nice and also as you guys can see here i got this small window and the reason why i got that is because when the cop pulls up behind me because i'm going so fast you can't see a girl sucking my knob all right, guys, you can see right here, you actually might not be able to see it because it's a really small backup camera, just like your knob. Basically, the reason why I got this here is when I'm backing up, I don't see the fat behind me because I'm trying not to hit them, you know, because they might leave a big old dent in my car. Because when they tried getting in my car, I said, hell no. So that's why they're lined up behind me. Now, before we get into the interior, I want to show you one more thing on the exterior. See this little antenna here? It's actually my Bluetooth nitrous because I don't got enough room in the back of my carriage for some more nitrous. Basically, it's kind of like a Tesla sends some like some like radiation or something to my car and goes straight to the tires. I believe it's called Tesla, but I don't know what those things are. But yeah, that's my Bluetooth nitrous. All right, so now we're in the cockpit. The reason why I call it cockpit is like a jet when I'm taking off down the runway. Again, as you guys can see here, kicking it in Asia. Right here, we got the control center. And the reason why I call it the control center because it's like an airplane, like I said. See this button right here? When I click it up, it puts some more nitrous in. When I click it down, it calls your girl. Now basically, you see this other clicker right here, when I click it up, sends up a parachute when I'm going so fast down the runway. Alright guys, as you can see here, it goes up to 140, that's really just a mind distraction, because I don't want people to crawl in my cockpit, and see it goes up to 320, because that's how fast my car goes when your girl's sucking my knob. Now basically, as you can see here, my RPMs go up to 8, the reason why it goes up to 8 is because it's for one for each one of my cylinders, because this is a V8, so yeah, that's how I roll. All right, as you guys can see here, got some LEDs up in here. Really, the reason why I had these is depending on what kind of mood your girl's in when she's in my car. So I can I can also change the colors, as you can see. Also, depending on what kind of mood your girl's in when she's sucking my knob. As you guys can see here, we got the shifter. The P here, that stands for power. R for resistance and N for neither. Basically, we got the D here, which stands for dick size, plus and minus, depending on what kind of size your girl can take tonight. As you guys can see here, I got these custom knobs. The reason why I got these custom knobs is so your girl can feel them after I'm done banging her so hard because she can't see. It's kind of like Braille. So last thing we got in the cockpit of this here Kia, 844. You might think that's the time, but it's actually my quarter mile when I was dusting your friends. But basically, the reason why I got that here is to remind me of the goals, and my goals are higher than that. So next time, I'm aiming for about a 744. Now, as you guys can hear, this is my muffler. The reason why it's so quiet is because I don't need people getting scared when they hear my V8 engine coming down the road. And also, as you can see, it's hidden. And the reason why it's hidden is because it's a $2,000 exhaust, and I don't need no one sticking that off my car. All right, guys, the reason why we're in the cockpit now, I want to show you how good the handling is on this thing. The reason why the handling is so damn good it's because I'm going around the track. The reason why I need it so good around the track is because when I'm going around the tight corners, just like a girl, but usually she ain't really tight when I'm done with her. So you might be able to tell that it's really quiet in here. The reason why it's so damn quiet is because I actually have performance studio soundproofing in here. The reason why I have that is I'm not trying to start your girl when she's stuck on the knob. Okay guys, so what I'm doing right now is this new thing they call flexing in front of your car. 
Basically, you do this every time you're a Kia owner and you want your girl to suck your knob. Thank you guys for watching the video on the 2012 turbocharged Kia. This is actually my friend's car here, Jake. Um, Ryan Korean, he does YouTube videos, so check him out right here at Ryan Korean. Um, but seriously, with the Kia, we're actually going to do mods to it. We're going to do hood rack, rims, door handles. Door handles. Straight pipe exhaust. Yes. New rims. I already said new rims. Anything else? Um, I don't. I don't think that's. I think that's it. I guess that is it. And it's probably some other little things too. But um. Oh, a rice sticker. Because he's part of the rice burners. He needs a five it. extra horsepower. Exactly. That little bowl of rice. It has about 1.2 horsepower per rice strain. <laughs> So if you guys enjoy these type of funny videos on cards like that, then just let me know in the comments. I'll definitely do more. But um, until next time, this is the Rice Burners. Subscribe to Ryan Korean and peace out. Thanks for watching, guys. I wasn't in the video at any point except for now, but I'm going to plug my channel. Um, please like and subscribe to Ryan Korean. He'll put it on the screen right here, right where my hands are, right here. And then my, my thing should be right up here. So go ahead and do that. And, uh. Keep on rising. Don't know why you're still here. Uh. Eat that. So guys, this video is a lie. It's actually my car the whole time. I know, I know. You think someone as cool as that kid would have some dope car? Oh my god. Oh, this car's got a drive wide, drive by to ruin my outro. Oh, Spot. Yay, that looks good. That's pretty good. Stand up. Like where you would stand. Gotta make sure it sees my 6 2 frame. Alright, I think that'd be. Oh, it is. It's recording. Alright. Should we, um. I'm gonna actually. I'm gonna add that in, but I'm gonna start a new clip. That's how you drift the Kia when your girl's sucking your knob.